I hate you. Hello guys, welcome back to Car Obsession and welcome once more to Leona, my Mark I Seat Leon Cooper R. Now, if you watched my point of view drive, you would have seen that the engine management light is coming on intermittently. Hopefully in this video, I'll be finding out why and if I can fix it. I won't be doing this alone though, because I'm joined by Carly. No, not a human, an OBD reader. If you don't know about Carly, then be sure to check out my previous content. Hopefully, this will be the key to unlock what is wrong with Leona. Now, speaking of unlocking, hopefully I would have unlocked a new discount code for you guys to use, and hopefully that will be at the bottom of your screen right now, or in the video description. Okay, so it's connecting to the adapter now. See what's what. Now I have already had uh, my work, because I work for a German car repair garage. They've already scanned the car and there was a misfire on cylinder three. So what they've done is they've um, swapped the ignition coils. Uh, they've swapped cylinders three and two. So hopefully there should now be a misfire code on cylinder two, hopefully. So let's go back health diagnosis, check for issues. Okay, two issues found so far. We're only at 8%. It's a bit concerning. Ah, 100%. And still only at two issues, which is good. I like that. Hopefully, one of them will be a misfire. A uh, um, misfire? What's a... Sorry, it's been a long day. Uh, I filmed this straight after I finished work. Um, a misfire on cylinder two. Let's have a look. I've got two very bad. Oh dear. Right. Two issues with the engine. Ah, yes. So P0302. Cylinder two misfire detected. That is good news because it means that the ignition coil is the most likely cause and that is a common part to fail on these engines uh, in fact i had a, a 1.8 liter turbocharged uh, petrol for my set ibiza fr and the same thing happened to that uh, og viewers may remember that uh, that was a very long time ago but anyway uh, right so now um, there's also a new feature for carly uh, if i've got the name right it's called smart mechanic I will need to cut to a voiceover where I can give you a bit more concise information about what it is and why it will benefit you. Smart Mechanic allows Carly users to get even more insight into fault codes with descriptions written by expert mechanics. It also gives you repair tips in case you want to tackle the issue yourself and it can even predict the future. Okay, that's not quite true, but it can provide predictive analysis to warn you of any potential issues you may encounter in the future. Clever, huh? Right, hopefully that voiceover helped. So, turn the engine off because I don't need to have it on anymore. Um, so, random slash multiple misfire detected. Okay, so, with that information armed, what I'm now going to do is to replace the ignition coil on cylinder two. Um, now, as much as Carly is a very good device, uh, it's still worth taking your car to a professional for them to look it over. But for something like this, uh, ignition coils aren't overly expensive. And if you're a bit handy with the tools, there's no harm in just trying it to see whether it fixes the issue. But yes, uh, Carly is a good device. But um, yeah, don't forget, uh, you've always got professionals to fall back on in case you get a little bit out of your depth. So anyway, I think it's time to open up the bonnet. So. That's cylinder two, and that's what's causing my, uh, my poor running problems. Now, interestingly, these coils look fairly new. So yeah, hopefully this won't be a recurring problem. Removing the ignition coil should be quite an easy process, but unfortunately, the tab for the connector was broken. To get around this, I used a pick to help lift the connector off the coil, but it was very stubborn. The connector is likely to be brittle, so if you're doing the job yourself, make sure you take care. Oh, that didn't sound good. Good now. Broken the connector. Right, so the connector's off. It's cracked in the process, which I'm not very happy about, but... Yeah, it's been a real faff. When I did this on my Ibiza, I don't remember having this much problems. 
Right, that's the old coil, which is fit for the bin. I hate you. And one new coil just here. Let's get that seated in. Make sure it's in all the way so we get a good connection. And time to refit this fiddly connector, connector which is now cracked and a bit damaged, which is rather annoying. Right. That was a nice satisfying click, I like that. Let's get the connector on. Which is gonna be a struggle. Right. Don't know how, how tight the connector is, because you should click in place, but like I say, it is damaged. Right. Okay. New coil in. Right, take Leona out for a road test to make sure the fix is confirmed. Get these uh, fault codes cleared down now. And hopefully that pesky engine management light won't come back for quite some time. Well, hey, right. And you can even set a reminder to recheck in three days, which is very good. Right, okie dokie. So we're now ready to hit the road. Can't give it too much just yet because um, the engine is still cold. You have to excuse the, uh, the uh, rather questionable lighting. As you can probably tell, it is night time. I would have normally have filmed this at the weekend, but um, I just haven't got time this coming weekend, so I've got a lot on. It just definitely feels a lot better. The rough running has gone. I haven't got any of that nasty juddering. So I think it's fair to say this fix has been a success, apart from the um, damaged um, connector for the ignition coil. But let's look past that. It still works, although I am really annoyed that um, I damaged it. Yeah, that's um, not ideal. Okay, right, pin the throttle. Right, that's to the speed limit rather quickly. Power feels good, smooth, responsive, which can only be a good thing. So then, I would say that is mission accomplished. Well, apart from the um, slightly uh, broken connector on the ignition coil uh, caused by yours truly, whoops. Uh, but yeah, apart from that little niggle, I would say that is a success. And that is thanks to Kylie, of course, helping to diagnose the issue and some swearing to help me um, get through replacing the ignition coil. I just don't know why it was so stubborn. It just didn't want to move. And in the end, I kind of had to force its hand. Oh, that transit isn't hanging about for anyone. So once again, guys, if you're interested in purchasing Carly, I will, of course, put the details in the video description. Hopefully, uh, I will have a discount code I can offer you as well, just to help sweeten the deal. Now, if the light does come back, I will, of course, uh, keep you updated on if any faults with the Leona uh, happen to turn up, which hopefully they won't. I will, of course, keep you updated. But so far, so good. If you have enjoyed this video or found it useful, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. If you are subscribed, don't forget to click the bell icon so you get notified every time I make a video. But until the next time, guys, be sure to keep up the car obsession.